Hi, my name is Kat and I'm making my own wedding dress. John and I got engaged about a year and a half ago and we'll be getting married about a year and a half from now, which should give me plenty of time to do all of the planning and sewing and beading and everything necessary to make this dress happen. So I'm really excited to get started and I'm going to be making these videos and blog posts along the way to not only document the process but also to make sure that I have some sort of record of the making of the thing as it happens because I know that the making of the dress is going to be just as important and I'm going to remember just as many things about it as I remember about the actual wedding day and since the dress is a surprise and John's not allowed to see it until it happens I can't actually share this whole process with him and he's my best friend so I have to have someone else to share it with I guess and that is you. John, if you're watching this and we're not married yet I need you to go watch another video now please. So my plan at the moment is actually to have two dresses. I'd like to have one for the ceremony that's sort of more ornate and very heavily decorated with beads. It'll be the floor length. It'll be flowy, full of layers. Um, just really sort of, uh, the wedding is going to be outside in a sort of woodland environment. So I want to, I don't want to say I want a fairy dress, but I kind of want a fairy dress a little bit. I think that would be fun. And then have a reception dress that still maintains the color scheme, but has a sort of 50s vibe, a little bit of a like a tea length with a little bit of color going on, so I'm looking forward to getting started on that one because I just don't think I can have a wedding without at least a little bit of color. Uh, I'm also planning on making um, a flower crown sort of thing. I don't think I'm going to have a veil, but I think a crown would be nice and it'll sort of tie the beading of the dress in together. And the last thing I'm planning on doing, which interestingly is probably the first thing that need, I need to get started on, is that I'd like to knit a wedding shawl, which is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and I just think it's sort of needs to be part of the process, so I'll need to get started on that soon. So right now, really, I'm just going through Pinterest, pinning everything that looks even remotely interesting, trying to gather techniques. I've gotten some books from the library, including this one, which you've probably heard of. This is a Bridal Couture. I'll put a link in the description. So I managed to get a copy of it from John's school library, and I've been inhaling it whenever possible. She talks a lot about lace and techniques for working with lace in this book, which is awesome. I'm learning so much, but I'm not sure how much lace I'm actually going to have in my dress because of all the beading. I think that's probably going to be the main priority is going to be those beads instead of the lace. But I mean, I'm open. If I find lace that's great, I'll probably try it. So my sort of plan is to take you through from the conception, which is now from the conception, until the completion of the dress, and I'll try to show you all the little tips and tricks that I learned and all the techniques that I'm using and document everything so that if you find yourself in a place one day where you want to make a wedding dress, maybe it'll be helpful to you, and also if I find myself in a place one day where I don't remember some of it, that I can go back and look at it as a, as a fond memory of a very big project leading up to a very special day. So I'm planning on making about 18 videos because I have about 18 months before I get married. So next time we'll talk about the sketching, we'll talk about the inspiration, we'll talk some more about the research that I've done so far, and then eventually we'll get ourselves all the way up to the wedding day and John will finally get to see what I'm working on. So it's pretty exciting, isn't it?